match scheduled for one fall with an eight minute time limit. Friend request decline. It's the first time I've ever seen a guy come out and take pictures of himself. I I heard through the grapevine of the locker room, he actually Facebooked in the middle of a match. He did, he Facebooked in the middle of a match. I've never seen it before. If this was a temper tantrum throwing contest, Budnick would be the gold medal winner. But here, this is professional wrestling. This is not a temper tantrum wrestling. D. Holden Matthews at the. Excuse me. Budnick at a headlock. Budnick reverses. D. trying to find his own reversal. Side headlock into an arm bar. And Budnick heading for the hills. I think he's going to take him out of the basement. And the chase is on. The only person who runs this much are the Canadians. <laughs> I'm telling you, the Canadians take Darren Dude and any one of the Camp Bell's goons. They can win the gold. I think Budden can be there. And that ball. Budden with a spinning uh, shoulder tackle. He had a kick out at one, showing how much uh, he's still in it. Mercy, not finding it. And what? Why did just took these pictures and flashed his eyes? I think it was a Kodak moment. That'll dislocate your shoulder. Yeah, it will. You know all these pictures go up on this site? It's kind of scary, man. Look at him. He's the one who cut his hair. Well, Budnick was the one who cut off Donnie Duke's hair. That's true. That is true. He's trying to, try to start a collection for himself. Look, he's stepping on his head, man. <laughs> he 
got to give it to Budnick. He knows how to make the referee yell, not notice what's going on behind him. And Budnick denying everything. Blatantly choking this thing deep on the ropes out of here. Three, four. I hate to admit it, but I have to give the advantage to Budnick. It's AD going through this emotional roller coaster with uh, Kwame Davis. You think if Budnick was uh, obsessed with hair like this as he is with other wrestlers, he'd throw rocks to the dome. Budnick with a uh, chin lock. Driving a knee into Dee's spine, pulling back on his chin. Dee fighting his way up. Fighting back, getting some momentum. Budnick with a reversal, he grabs the hair again. Look like a modified version of the recliner, only gets a two count. Budnick getting frustrated, throwing a tamper tantrum. That's not going to win a match. He strikes to the chest. Running spinning net breaker, very impressive. Using both the momentum from the run and the fall to drag uh, Insane D to the ground, bouncing his head off the canvas. And again, Bundy swearing he doesn't know what anybody's talking about. D going for an ace break. Wow! I know a guy used to do that all the time. And Budnick just drove both knees into Insane D's face, possibly breaking his nose or busting a lip. And Budnick not missing an opportunity to take a picture. He takes a picture of him. Takes a picture of D and takes a picture of himself in the process. He's scared. That is frighteningly egotistical. That's the move El Fantasmi is doing all the time. Fantasy made that move? You just do that all the time. Man. You know, you take home. Of, all the, of all the guys that I wrestled at TXW, I always wanted to wrestle him. I never had a chance to wrestle him. El Fantasmi. Chalk him up to a TXW Hall of Famer. Three! And Budnick not losing an opportunity. Not missing an opportunity. And D on the outside starting to mount an offense. He's got sick and tired of Budnick's uh, showboating and ego. Wow! Love that move. That was like a slow mo move, man. That's about the slow move, man. I always get nervous. I always get nervous for wrestlers where they're, you know, they're good or bad when they do moves like that. Cause, you know, it scares me that they're actually going to you know, land on their heads or something. That's why we take it right on try this now. Okay, take the time to do that. Let's do this time. Referees had sex. The fans are behind D. And D firing things up, running in with a clothesline. Firing in with a back elbow. Budnick trying to find his bearing. And it's a D driving his forearm into the skull of Budnick. They call it the spinal tap. And there's D. Going for a spinning moonsault. The only man at TXW that does that move. Exactly. I thought he'd be like half of that. 
Friday. And again, Budnick finding a, an opening. D not capitalizing. Going into the reversal. And he strike to the face. Budnick. But not Loopy. The referee's still in the way. Flying leg drop. It can't be enough to capitalize. Only a two count. We gotta give it to both of these guys. Apparently all the stops to stop the other one. But no give. But you gotta love the fans on the left side. They are really into D. D with a strike for the skull. D calling for his, uh, his finisher, the swan time bomb from the corner. And when they shoving the ref. And what they saying, he slipped, he slipped it. D getting thrown from the top rope. And D holding inside cradle. Still not enough. Desperation move from insane D. I don't know what that move is called, but I love it. I've seen it twice. Oh, my God. 